How are the slopes of two parallel lines related? Take these two parallel lines for example. If the slope of this line is m1 and that of this one is m2, then how are m1 and m2 related? You don't really have to think here. It's obvious. The tilt or the inclination is the same. m1 will be equal to m2. The slopes of parallel lines are the same. Ok, great. So how are the slopes of two lines that are perpendicular to each other related? Take these two lines for instance. Assume their slopes are m3 and m4. This may not be obvious but the product of their slopes is minus 1. m3 times m4 is equal to minus 1. Another fancy way to say it would be that they are negative reciprocals of each other. m3 will equal minus 1 over m4 and m4 will equal minus 1 over m3. If lines are parallel, their slopes are equal and if they are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is minus 1. In this example, we are given the coordinates of A and B and have been asked to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. Pause the video and try finding the equation. First, let's plot the two points on the coordinate plane. 3, minus 1 will be here and 1, 3 will be this point. Let's join points A and B. Its perpendicular bisector will look a bit like this. Let's call it CD. CD is perpendicular to AB and it will also bisect AB. Now we've been asked to find the equation of this blue line the equation of line CD. With the slope intercept form, let's assume that its equation is y is equal to mx plus b. How do we find the equation? We need m and b. m is the slope of CD and b is its y-intercept. How can we find the slope of CD? To find the slope of any line, we need the coordinates of at least two of its points. We have the coordinates of A and B which can give us the slope of AB. And as AB and CD are perpendicular, the slope of AB will give us the slope of CD. Their product will equal minus 1. So we will have M. Now how do we find B which is the y-intercept? Look at the slope-intercept form. If we have M, then we just need the coordinates of one point on CD to find B. Because then we can substitute the coordinates in place of X and Y and get B. The only point at which we can find the coordinates is this one. The intersection of AB and CD. Because it is also a midpoint of AB. And we can easily find the midpoint of AB as we have the coordinates of its endpoints. So after we get the slope of CD, we find the midpoint of AB which will also give us B. Once we have M and B, we can easily find the equation of CD. Ok, so what is the slope of AB? It will be minus 1 minus 3 over 3 minus 1. Difference of Y coordinates over the difference of X coordinates. This gives us minus 2. The slope of AB is minus 2. Now we find the slope of CD. As AB and CD are perpendicular, the product of their slopes will be minus 1. So minus 2 times M will equal minus 1. Slope of AB times the slope of CD equals minus 1. We get the slope of CD as 1 over 2. Now we get to the midpoint of AB. The x-coordinate of the midpoint is the average of the x-coordinates of the endpoints. The x-coordinate will be 3 plus 1 over 2. And the y-coordinate of the midpoint will be minus 1 plus 3 over 2. 2 comma 1 will be the midpoint of AB and it is also one of the points on CD. So we can substitute these values in place of x and y. Substituting the values of m, x and y here, 
we get 1 equals half times 2 plus b. Solving this, we get the value of b as 0. m is half and b is 0. The equation of line CD will be y is equal to x over 2. This video was a bit taxing, I'm sure. If you haven't understood it well, make sure you go through it again. I'm sure it will make more sense.